I'm gonna go pull up the chat. Hope you all had a fantastically phenomenal weekend. I know I did. It was a good Easter. Good Easter weekend. I'm waiting to pull up my chat. Sometimes it goes very slow. There it is. Cool. Okay, pop it out. Got to pop it out. And pull up our fun facts. Brought some of those with me again today. And bring my mouse over just in case. Oh yeah, I need to post on Discord. And I'm live. Totally forgot to do that. We're gonna do that real quick. Cause I gotta be better about doing that. Um the stream may interrupt for just a second, but I'll be right back. It should be there. Okay. Whoopsie. Now I posted on Discord. I kinda halfway posted on Discord because I didn't post the link, but oh well. I still have not installed Discord on my or computer. Like a fool. I need to do that. I might do that at some point. Anyways. We're making the pottery today. I'll show you guys. Before I get started. Get my hands dirty. Show you guys what I've made so far. Uh, I've been working on a shop order. Here on the table. I had some vases. Some planters and mugs. And we're about to settle in. And make a whole bunch of mugs. A little dark. Let's move a lot. Yeah, is that better? Not really. I need to move my big bucket. Big bucket of water. Uh, I think this will reach further. There. There. Now I can see better. Hey, Cleanthus. How are you? Did you have a good weekend? Welcome to you. <sighs> My weekend was good. Oh man, yesterday, Easter Sunday, was a fantastic family day. I ate so much food. <laughs> I ate so much food. I was like, oh, I was so full last night. Not only was it Easter, but also it was my brother-in-law and my niece's birthdays they fall like one day apart so we celebrated easter plus we uh celebrated birthdays there was so much food so i had lunch over at my grandfather's house after church and everything and then uh, a ton of food there and then went and had easter dinner plus two birthdays so we had a uh, cake i had that in the evenings I was so full last night. <laughs> I ate way too much. Uh, well, I was I was anxiously awaiting getting back in the gym today, and it was good, good workout, and had a nice, clean, simple lunch. Felt good. Uh, felt good getting back into the normal routines. <sighs> Feeling a little bit sleepy now, though, <laughs> after workout, after lunch. Um, I actually got back, I'd been running more last week, but I got back into weightlifting today. I did a weightlifting workout. That's good. So, these mugs, we're going to be making a few, um, uh, ridged hourglass shaped mugs to start out. And we're going to make some plain mugs, and I'll probably do some, like, alter my shapes of mugs, because these are going to be for... Uh, I've got a show coming up at the end of April. And I need to just keep uh, putting back pieces for that show. And we're going to do some special type mugs. Plant that says, family is the best for table. Family is the best. It was a, it was a really good day. Thoroughly enjoyed the day.
and my kids are out of school one more day and they will be heading back tomorrow they had spring break all last week and now they have uh, Easter Monday but you guys uh, watching this after the fact welcome to you or watching this maybe we have some folks in now uh, welcome to you if you have any questions for me ask away if not just enjoy the pottery and the pottery and chill I brought some fun facts with me today first fun fact the tongue is the only muscle in one's body that is attached from one end yeah. never thought about that makes sense yeah yeah it's not attached on the front it's just attached on the back <laughs> Ah. Oh, this tongue is this is such a weird. <laughs> you really sat sat down and thought about it. What a weird muscle. It can bend and move in very strange ways. All right. Sorry, half distracted by my mug. Actually, I should be focusing all my attention on my mugs, but attention is pulled. I approve. <clears throat> I am going to have to focus a little bit more on the odd shaped things, the odd shaped mugs today that I normally focus. Usually I'm paying attention completely to chat, just making like straight sided mugs. But today we're making the special things. I may make like a vase or something later on. I probably should make like one more just to have one extra of those, the, um, the long necked vases. Next fun fact, there's a company in Japan that has schools that teach you how to be funny. The first one opened in 1982. About a thousand students take the course each year. I should probably go to that school. I could stand to be a little bit funnier. <clears throat> really, I think the thing, the skill that I could benefit from the most would be learning how to tell a good story. I'm not a very good storyteller. I have a younger brother, and he is fantastic at telling stories, and I've always envied that skill. I've never, uh, never really had that skill. But I could I'd benefit from being a little funnier too, for sure. All right, mug number two. Going for hourglass with ridges. So I missed streaming on Friday. Decided to take the day off of streaming uh, with Good Friday. Our schedule was a little bit weird as well man it's hard to even remember what i was even working on friday it's been crazy around here but <clears throat> the youtube thing still going well uh had a couple of videos that did <clears throat> pretty good over the weekend and you know the short videos seem to be doing better so all in all going well <clears throat> and I've already recorded. I came in Saturday. Uh, hey, Bloodleaf. Welcome to you. Super close to 2K subs. Yeah. Almost there. 2K it came way faster than um, 1K for sure. It took me like a year to get 1K. Almost a year. But I kind of like started and then, let's see. I got super busy over last summer and I kind of dropped the ball on posting to any kind of social media stuff. Um, but for this week I have three videos recorded. I have one of them scheduled to go up today, pretty much right after the stream. It's going up at two o'clock. It's a new, it's a different kind of video than I've done. So I'm excited to see how that one does. I made a uh, face vase. And maybe I'll give you guys a preview. I'll go grab it here in a minute. Show you what I made. But kind of throwing back to my older style stuff. Uh, I did a skull video on a short uh, last week's, and it's kind of like that. 
is similar to that, but it's not a skull. It's like one of my traditional face pots. Uh, not thrilled about that one. Yeah, I guess it's all right. Yeah, I don't want to take the top out any further though. You take that box. I think if I took the bottom out of that one, it would that would do better. <clears throat> Bloodleaf says. Took me two years, but my content feels more saturated. Oh yeah, music is crazy. I was I was looking at that on YouTube. It seems like music would be very difficult, <clears throat> but it's it's more difficult. But it, it seems like it's like a higher higher reward niche, the music. Um, I noticed <clears throat> on Twitch, it seemed like the music streamers had a little bit easier time back when I was doing Twitch. They certainly had an easier time than the um, the artists on there. There. I think maybe that's better. Yeah, I like that better. I approve. <clears throat> the only reason I got traction is because I make a bunch of meme videos too. Um, so the meme video, I, I don't think I've seen any of those. Do you do those more on, on the short form stuff? And it's kind of tough. <clears throat> it's kind of a tough thing because you don't want to like, you don't want to split your audience too much. Because uh, you'll have people there that are, they're there for the memes and they won't watch the music. Or they'll be disinterested in the music and you know, you'll have the, the flip side to that too. People there for the music and not so interested in the memes. Uh, this YouTube thing's kind of hard. <clears throat> I found that um, it's been difficult. Like my shorts have done well, but the long form stuff is basically like a whole different track than the short form stuff. Hello, Ash. I'm gonna shorten your name to Ash because that's easier. How long have you been making pottery? I have been making pottery professionally for about 15 years. I started in 2008. Um, before that, I did pottery in college, and before that, I first experienced clay when I was in ninth grade in high school. So I'm 40 now, and it would have been about 15 then. So a long, long time. Uh, Bloodleaf says, also welcome to you, Ash. I'm glad you're here. I feel like I responded to some comments that you put on my short videos um, over the weekend, but I appreciate you leaving those comments. Thanks for being here. Uh, Bloodleaf says, most of them are in my shorts. Luckily, I made my memes mostly music related, specifically for that reason. Yeah, audience play. Yeah, that's a hard, it's a hard thing. Um, <clears throat> I've had people ask me to do... Um, couple of times do like workout stuff because I've talked about it a little bit here and there on the lives and I'm kind of hesitant to do it because I don't want my channel to be out po about pottery stuff I think if I ever did anything like that did anything different I probably just need to start a new channel uh, Ash says no wonder so good hey I appreciate that I've been practicing for quite some time this is my full-time job I wake up at about four o'clock in the morning and I come to work and I make pottery all day every day <laughs> I did do something out of the ordinary this weekend I need to post pictures of this on discord but my one of my kilns I noticed a few weeks back that the stand was like almost completely rotted out from under it like rusted out and on the kiln stand, it's like a metal stand. It's about yay high, about about six six to eight inches high. It holds it up off the ground. <clears throat> I looked down one day, and it's normal for a kiln to vent fumes. And if you go out there, like if you're near the kiln at certain times of the firing, you can actually see it venting, uh, like off gassing, especially if there's like uh, a lot of water in your clay. So I'll often preheat so when it's biscuit it'll push the rest of that water out and you'll actually see some uh, gas coming out of the kiln anyways I noticed it kind of coming out the bottom a little more than normal seemingly and I looked down I just happened to look down and I noticed that my kiln stand 
on one one rail of my kill stand pretty much just rusted completely in two and I was like, oh, crap. It'd be bad if my kiln just like fell over while it was firing <laughs> or fell over in general. I'd hate to lose the kiln because that's like four thousand dollars, boom, right there. Um anyways, I ordered a new stand and the really the appropriate way to fix that problem is to disassemble the kiln the way you should do it but i'm a little too lazy for that <laughs> instead of doing that i got two floor jacks i borrowed one from my brother-in-law and i used uh used mine and i used two by fours and floor jacks to lift the kiln up like that and then i slid the old stand out i put the new stand in and i lowered the kiln back down and it worked great except for the fact that my floor stand uh, slowly let out air. Uh, I didn't realize it was messed up because it had actually been at my mom's house for like four years. I went and picked it up and it was, uh, it's messed up now. But anyways, as I was like under the kiln working on it, I didn't realize it, but my stand, mine was like slowly, like his was fine over on this side. Mine was slowly lower the kiln. So I'd be like working for a second, I'd jack it up a little more, and I'd work a little bit, and I'd jack it up a little more. But, eventually, and thankfully too, like even if it let it all the way down, it still wouldn't like turn the kiln over or anything, because I was only raising it like an inch. Uh, but it was, uh, it was a little bit of an adventure, a little bit out of the ordinary. Uh, <laughs> can't say I've done that one before. Uh, I have taken it apart and replaced bricks and uh, elements, but like I would have had to disassemble the thing pretty much all the way down, or I could have gotten like uh, three or four people to help me lift it. Uh, but I didn't want to have to like hold it up, and I didn't want to have to unhook the power and all that stuff. So jacks, uh, car jacks, it was. Uh, Ash says, I love watching people create art. It's always so fun watching people's creativity. And there are some really cool, um, really awesome things to watch on YouTube Shorts. My daughter, she watches uh, mostly people that do baking. But, man, there's some cool art stuff on here, too. I got to get better at my editing and stuff. I'm working on it. But there are some very crazy, talented people. I found a, another potter on here last week and i can't pronounce his name he's a russian guy but that dude is good he is real real good um, you can tell he's been making like really big stuff for a long long time <clears throat> uh and ash said uh, bloodleaf says yeah because that would really suck yeah if it fell over that would suck if i lost the kill <laughs> that would be not ideal but crisis was averted and also, see, I started making a regular, uh, I got to telling my story, and I made a regular mug. But we're gonna turn this into an hourglass mug. Because that's what we're doing right now. Uh, Ash says, those things are expensive. Yeah, kilns are high. Uh, I have production kilns, and I think the last one I bought was like $4,500. They're pretty expensive. And Clantha says, I volunteer with you. Hey, I'm sure you would, and I appreciate that. Sometimes there are kiln adventures. But I'll post the picture of the old kiln stand on Discord here in a little while. By the way, if y'all are interested in Discord, there's a link to my Discord on my channel page. And uh, I let everybody know when I'm going live. And also, uh, we look for Bert. Here's Bert right here. He's hiding in my shorts. And both my short videos and my long videos, most of the time I remember to move him and he's hiding somewhere. The last one was a little too hard for everybody. Nobody has found him yet. Bloodleaf knows the answer, but I trust Bloodleaf not to tell people. There's a video where I make a skull uh, on a vase. No one's found him yet in that one. He's got a really, really good hiding spot. Uh, Ash says, I've been thinking about making dragons out of clay. That's a lot of fun. I've done that before. 
uh, make some small ones that are pretty simple, but I want to make bigger ones, complicated ones. Uh, mainly a book I read is my information, uh, inspiration for it. Uh, what book are you reading? If you don't mind me asking. I like books, especially books with dragons. Um, do it, Ash. Don't think about it. Just do it. Yeah, you make those dragons. Um, I have a sculpture, uh, I think it's at my mom's house, that I made when I was in ninth grade of a dragon. Man, I loved doing, um, drawing dragons, making dragons. That was totally my jam back then. But it was one of the first sculptures I made. And uh, I love that thing. Eh, it'll do. I'm going to do better on the next one, though. <clears throat> do it, Ash. Don't think about it. Just do it. Then post them on Discord so I can see them. It's a good spot. Yeah, it's <laughs> he's in a good hiding spot for sure. 100%. Uh, if you can't do dragons out of... Um, can't do them out of like clay that you would fire. Uh, Sculpey's pretty great. There's an artist that I was on that I know through streaming on Twitch. His name is Christopher Notbush. He's on Instagram and stuff. You should check out his sculptures. He's crazy good. Wild. He's. I told him back in the day. I was like, dude, okay, get you some marble. <laughs> like you are wildly talented. His his eye for the three three dimensional is crazy. Um, if I remember later, if y'all put in Discord, I'll link his stuff. Uh, he's got a really big, uh, channel on Twitch. A really awesome dude as well. Back when I was streaming on there, he's, he's been streaming from, like, before the days of, uh, when artists were even on. He was, like, the first artist on Twitch, basically. But, um, he's got a huge following over there. Insanely talented sculptor. His, uh, his Instagram video is pretty great as well. Uh, <clears throat> Ash says, The Last Dragon Chronicles. The idea is that dragons retreated to the water and became clay. People with uh, something, I can't see, it's behind the heart, can make dragons out of the clay and then they can come to life. Well, that's an interesting story. Interesting concept. Dragons are cool. I um, actually just started making, uh, my Meg's designed it, but we're making a new dragon stamp on a mug. There's a football team down south of us uh, that has a dragon as their mascot. So we're doing some new dragon mugs. I make some cutesy little face dragon, uh, dragon face coffee mugs, but this is like a uh, 2D dragon design. <clears throat> I love dragons since I was a kid. Yeah, dragons are awesome. Agreed. Get it. All right, fun fact. The Lego Group is the world's most powerful brand. Really? I would have thought it would be like Disney or something. There are more Lego minifigures than there are people on Earth. Whoa! How many, though? Like nine billion? Curious. I'm going to have to figure out the answer to that. How many little Lego dudes are there? I know there's like a thousand in my house. <laughs> my kids have a lot of Legos. We love Legos. Uh, Legos are awesome now. There is pretty much a Lego anything. My favorite ones, I think, are the the Lego Ninjago, though. The dragons, the Lego, since we're speaking of dragons, those are awesome. Some awesome Lego sets. My daughter has several of those. Very cool. And actually, that those movies, the Lego movies, are great too. Have you have you guys seen the Lego movies? I think my favorite is Lego Batman, but the Lego Ninjago is pretty good too. <clears throat> it's got to be at least two times the amount. I had hundreds. Yeah, 
Yeah, uh, I had a bunch when I was a kid too. That there weren't as many Lego sets, and they weren't like based around the uh, the IP like they are now. Um, now it's you know pretty much there's a Lego anything. I need to empty my splash pans, or I'm gonna have a mess. I use a lot more water when I'm making bases. Sorry, I'm burping. I just got done eating lunch. It's full. From my throw session earlier. What was I going to show you guys? Oh yeah, the dragon stamp. <clears throat> I'll grab that. And I'll grab that face face that I did and give you the preview for the video this afternoon. I got it all trimmed up. You, 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 you. Where you at, Dragon Stamp? There it is. I actually made several of my shorts this week are going to be face related. This is the first long form video I did uh, with a face. This is the um, the dragon stamp that my Megs made. That's going to go on the side of a mug. Ignore the black spot on his face. That's just from the stamp. I, I basically burn with a laser. Uh, it's just burnt wood on his face. That'll just burn off in the kiln. Pretty excited about that one. She also did a bulldog. Mm -hmm. I was kind of echoing him because I was talking down into the booth. And this is for my... Um, Next long form video. It's gonna be a making of this guy. Did that over the weekend. Kind of more my old old style face pottery. <clears> that looks so cool. Hey, thank you, Ash. Appreciate that. And I did a couple more that are gonna be on short videos. I think I already said that. Bert, you fell over, man. Sit Bert back up. <clears throat> Looks like a Vikings dragon. Yeah, we, we tried to base it similar to the one. I gotta be careful with the college mascot stuff. I mean, I can do like a generic dragon, but like I gotta make sure it's not too close to what they have. And they have like a college or yeah, a cartoony looking dragon. So we're kind of make it, trying to make it in the ballpark, but not get into the realm of copyright and that kind of stuff. Same thing, like, uh, here there's a college team that has an elephant mascot and a uh, tiger mascot. So I do just, like, uh, more realistic-looking elephants and tigers, and they do well. Uh, <clears throat> Clint, this said, looks like a Vikings dragon. I thought, sorry, I thought you were Ash when I read that. Indeed. And Ash says, I mainly draw, but I love making really any kind of art. I've worked with clay. Know how to play two instruments. Painting, I think. Created a ring and made a quilt. Oh, very cool. Very cool. What kind of instruments do you play? I play guitar and a little bit of drums and a little bit of piano, but mostly guitar. That's my main thing. Guitar and singing. Man, I'm feeling a little bit tired now. <laughs> After I didn't sleep super great last night. Uh, I think because of all of the junk that I ate yesterday. But, man, post-workout. That's the reason that I had my streams at 9 initially. But, I don't know. I kind of feel like they do, they do better at afternoon. I think that nine is a little too early in the morning. To do them. Uh, we're gonna stick with twelve for now. It's been going well, but I gotta get past that post-workout lull. <laughs> you can ask my mess. Like r immediately after my workouts, I'm just like so gassed I can't even talk, can't even see straight. And then I eat some lunch and it starts to get better. And then maybe one or two in the afternoon to get a little bit better. <clears throat> Guitar and ocarina. Oh. 
I've never tried to play the Ocarina. Except on The Legend of Zelda Ocarina of Time. I could I could play that thing. Did some did a few little cover songs on it. Uh I think there were YouTube channels dedicated to playing Ocarina songs. I feel like I've watched a few of those. I may be mistaken though. It's been a while. Got the bottom of this one a little bit thin. Hopefully it's fine. I think it'll be all right. We'll find out in a little while. Every now and then I'll make a mug and I'll get the bottom too thin and I'll go cut it with the wire and be like, ah, oh, man. Mug ain't got no bottom. It happens. Do still make mistakes every now and then. The short that I made for the, today was actually a mistake short. Uh, I made a bowl and I got to the end. Well, it would have been fine, but it was kind of like a little bit wonky and I just thought it was not a great quality bowl. I ended up just destroying it. I'll post that one here, here in a little while this afternoon as well. So two videos going up, me exploding a bowl and making a face face. And then the next one to go up, well, I have two recorded. I made a, a bowl on a pedestal. It's like pretty tall. It's like maybe yay. It comes up like this into it. Um, it looks like a giant wine glass, basically. And then the next one I threw a 25 pound bowl and that thing's huge. I finally got around to making a 25 pounder video. I thought about just going straight for 30 pounds because I've never done, used that much clay before in a single throw. 25 is the most I've ever used. But I thought I'd post a 25 pounder and then maybe next week I'll do the 30 pounder. <clears throat> I got it for Christmas so I know how to play a bunch of Legend of Zelda songs. <laughs> nice. Oh, that's the only thing to play on the Ocarina right there. <clears throat> that's awesome. To so, Zelda fan. Question for the stream. What is your favorite Zelda game? Uh, mine is Ocarina of Time. But also Breath of the Wild is really good. Wind Waker is really good. I think those are probably my top three. Uh, Link the Past is really good as well. Between, let's see. It's probably a toss up between Wind Waker and... Uh, a link to the past. Uh, Majora's Mask. I like how disturbing it is. Uh, I wanted to like Majora's Mask, but I can't stand games that have like time limits. And Majora's Mask had sections where it was time sensitive. And I like just being more casual with stuff. I don't know. I just didn't like that one as much. Um. I enjoyed the concept of the masks in Ocarina of Time and should have liked it, but I don't know, I just didn't get into that one. I mean, it was still good, just didn't like it as much as the other ones. Um, another one, let's we'll see, Skyward Sword, I didn't like that one as much either. I don't, I can't really put my finger on that one. I did like Twilight Princess though. Um, I need to revisit Wind Waker though. That one's great. I haven't played that one in a long time. Uh, second is Ocarina of Time. I think trying to remember how old I was when that one came out. I think I might have been in 8th grade when Ocarina of Time came out. Just aging myself. I was so excited when that one came out. My mom, I had my mom, <laughs> begged her to take me to Walmart at like 6 o'clock in the morning to get it on launch day. And she did. 
And also, she let me stay out of school that day and play it. I was so stoked about that. Man, I played that game hardcore-like. I think it took me two weeks to finish it. And then I kept playing it after that. Just doing all the things on it. Uh, binged that game. Uh, the only other game I really binged that way... Well, there were two other ones. was Final Fantasy VII and um, Final Fantasy X. Those two. I binged in the same... Kind of the same manner. Well, I binged World of Warcraft as well, but that's a whole other story. <laughs> I didn't just binge that one until I beat the game. Because you can't beat World of Warcraft. I binged that one until I got really fat. <laughs> I forgot to soak my bat. Man. All right, we got almost eight of these Hourglass Ridged mugs. And then we're going to swap over to making just plain old mugs. And I can actually kind of pay more attention to chat. Because those are easy, automatic. Just close my eyes and my hands will do the rest. Uh, let's do a fun fact. The Bagheera Kiplingi spider was discovered in the 1800s and is the only species of spider that has been classified as a vegetarian. Really? Didn't know there was such a thing. The only vegetarian spider. Hmm. There's a boss in Metal Gear Solid 3 that could be defeated by not playing the game for a week or by changing the date. Really? I have not played Metal Gear Solid 3. I abandoned PlayStation uh, when my PlayStation 3 died. The Blu-ray drive went out, and it was only like a week out of warranty. I mean, I'd had it for like a year and five days, and the Blu-ray drive went out. I tried to get them to replace it, but they are like, oh, we're sorry, your console is out of warranty, and it's going to be, I don't know, what it was going to be like 200 bucks. And I was like, nope. I'm done with you, Sony. And I never bought another PlayStation after that. They lost a customer. I was pretty mad. <laughs> and my, I had an Xbox 360 at the same time. Um, and actually, that thing had died. I, I sent back several Xbox 360s because they all did the Red Ring of Death. But the thing about Microsoft was they would actually replace them if they did that. Um, they were, or maybe they just died before they were out of warranty. So I had two, either two or three Red Ring of Death. And then I had a optical drive go out on one. <clears throat> Let's see. And then I had a, no, that was the Slimline Xbox. But I was cross with Sony and never went back. After they took away free online play from PS3, I was done and had an Xbox until last year. Yeah, the, uh, the free online play thing was kind of frustrating. I guess I, I was an early adopter of Xbox Live. I think I got like one of those free three month cards or whatever and I just kept paying it after that because I was completely addicted to Halo. Um, I do subscribe now to Xbox Game Pass and that thing's awesome. And we do um, the Game Pass Ultimate and play, play all the stuff on PC. I actually fired up Diablo 4 over the weekend just to try it out. I haven't played it yet. I think I'll be playing it some here and there. It's a little bit... Um, I meant... No, I needed to make one more of these. Um, it's a little mature. I have to be careful playing some games because my son's really into video games and he'll walk in. He, he likes to watch me play. So, I can't play stuff that's inappropriate for kids. Like, I bought Cyberpunk and I haven't played Cyberpunk <laughs> because it's wildly inappropriate for children. Uh, I miss my PlayStation 1. I still got my PlayStation 1. My PlayStation 1's got a mod chip in it. Pretty proud of that, because I soldered that sucker in there when I was like 13 years old. 
That was my, that's how I learned how to solder, putting a mod chip in my PlayStation 1. Then I tried to do the same thing with my PlayStation 2, but the contacts on the PlayStation 2 are way smaller than the PlayStation 1. Huge difference. Um, so my, my PlayStation 2 did not survive that endeavor. And then I got a PlayStation 2 Slim. And I got, after that, I got a different kind of kit that required no soldering uh, to play, like, uh, homebrew games. Still have my PlayStation 1. And as far, I think it still works. I fired it up not terribly, too terribly long ago. It's got a um, little pirate sticker on the top of it. I need to get, uh, I found my Nintendo 64. I'd lost it for a while and, and it turned up. It's actually at my brother-in-law's house. I need to go get that sucker. I'm gonna talk to my son about playing some Goldeneye. Uh, I think I don't understand how PlayStation is barely any Persona games. Never played those. Well, that's where they launched. Uh, I can't read that part of that. It's behind the heart. More on Xbox and Switch. I really like my Switch. I think Nintendo knocked it out of the park with the Switch console. Two thumbs up out of ten. Alright, plain mugs now. We got eight. And those look pretty good. Those will stay plain. I won't put faces on those. So, Bloodleaf and Ash, what would you say is your favorite game console of all time? Which one's the best? I think mine would probably be the Nintendo 64. Well, aside from PC, of course, goes without saying, PC Master Race. PC is the best, but if you have to pick a console... Them's the rules. Fun fact, the Roman-Persian Wars were the longest in history, lasting over 680 years. They began in 54 BC and ended in 628 AD. Dang! That's a lot of war. I did not know that. Uh, that one's not really a fun fact. It's just a fact. <laughs> Most of these are, are not super fun facts. Uh, the Lego, the Lego fact was pretty fun. I think it's fun to think that there are more Lego men in the world than there are men men in the world. Uh, DS, honestly, but I love N64 as well. Oh, the DS was pretty great. I really wanted to love my DS, but I, I just didn't play it as much. I, I think it was probably the era. I don't know. What was your favorite DS game? Question for the stream. I think mine was the WarioWare on the DS. I can't remember. Maybe WarioWare Touched. Maybe is that the one? What's called? I really liked. I played the played that a lot. WarioWare is pretty great. I don't know. Maybe one of the Pokemon games. I really liked the Pokemon. Uh, my favorite one is the Quest 2 VR headset, but we're talking older offline consoles and 64. Oh, you got Quest 2? Uh, I like the VR as well. I had the HTC Vive, like the first generation. Uh, and it's fun. We still, we fire it up and play Beat Saber and we play uh, the Valve. The kids mostly play the Valve, uh, the Lab, and I play uh, Elite Dangerous. It's a space space sim. Uh, Pokemon Sun and Moon. I don't think I played those. I don't know that I played Sun and Moon. I think the one I think I played one of the games. I think I played Emerald actually on the DS because I got it, and you can play the advanced games on the bottom side of the old the old DS. And that's the version I had. I had like version one Nintendo DS. Uh, 
Favorite Pokemon Rangers was my favorite DS game. It was so different. I haven't played that one. I didn't play my DS as much. Um, that was also during the era, I think I was playing... I think that was the era of Xbox One and Halo. I was playing a lot of Halo, and then I was playing MMO games. So I went through a period of playing Final Fantasy XI. Yeah, that was basically when I got into MMOs real hard uh, during that era. So I was playing on my PC more than anything. Uh, I love Pokemon. Yeah, Pokemon's awesome. I like how you even did the E correctly with the little, little thingy on the top of it. Uh, favorite game Prince of Persia <laughs> yeah, Prince of Persia is a pretty hard game uh, I, I've never been huge on the platformer style but Prince of Persia was pretty cool um, yeah, during the, the era of DS I was totally playing Final Fantasy 11 and probably the tail end uh, when the newer DS's were coming out would be World of Warcraft because I played the stew out of some World of Warcraft for a good many years there. So, my DS mostly stayed dusty. I played... I had uh, Final Fantasy 3 and 4. I think I had 1 and 2 as well on the DS. Played those on it. Uh, WarioWare, uh, Super Mario 64, uh, the Metroid game. And uh, I think it was Pokemon Emerald that, that was the one that I played on the DS. Uh, uh, caught up with chat. And I, as far as Pokemon Go, I couldn't, I was, I was too distracted playing that one. <laughs> I couldn't let, couldn't let myself play Pokemon Go. I was like, I'm going to hurt myself playing this one. Also, where I live, like, I have to do some traveling to actually uh, do, like, gym battles and stuff. But it was just not, not one that I could get into. Uh, my son is playing Pokemon Sword right now. He's a good, good piece into it. And he started collecting Pokemon cards. He's, he's just not getting into it pretty hard. Uh, did y'all play uh, Pokemon Legends Arceus? That one was really good. That one's probably up there with one of my favorite Pokemon games. It's really good. Still burping. Sorry. Uh, my favorite is Pokemon Arceus. I love how... Ah, I hate how the heart covers stuff up. I wish they'd move that. I love how something shows absolutely no signs of being evil. Arceus was great. That one's good. Oh, did you guys play Dragon Quest Builders? Uh, now we're on to favorite Switch games. <laughs> I think that one's... Uh, let's see. Yeah, that one's got my most played. Most hours spent on a Switch game would be uh, Dragon Quest Builders. Uh, the second would probably be Final Fantasy XII, but only because I set up you can set up your guys. Um, you basically set up if-then equations. I can't remember what it's called. It's like a system, like you, you program your team. I basically programmed my team and then just let them grind for like two or three days straight. So it's got my second <laughs> second place playtime. But I wasn't actually playing the game. I was just letting my, my team like level up. And then once that happens, you just go through the game and destroy everything. Uh, now, speaking of Pokemon, has anyone else played any Pokemon Game Boy mods? I have not. Love po custom Pokemon game mods. I have not done that. Um, I've kind of been playing Emerald a little bit. My cousin bought me a, um, it's a handheld. Oh, man, I can't remember the name of it, though. It looks like an old school Game Boy, but it's smaller. And it's got um, Super Nintendo style buttons and shoulders on the back of it. And it's basically just a an, an emulator. It can run all kinds of emulators. I think it'll even run up to a uh, a PlayStation One. Uh, man, I wish I could remember the name of it. 
I've been kind of piddling with Pokemon on it. Uh, but, for the most part, I play on my PC now. Uh, Ash says no, but my first was Pokemon Blue on the Game Boy itself. Oh, really? 1999. How old are you, Ash? If you don't mind me asking. That was the first one I played. Actually, the first one I played was red, and then I bought blue, and then I bought uh, the yellow Pikachu version. And I had a, uh, I had one of the Pokemon Pikachu, the little, it was kind of like, do you guys remember the Tamagotchi pets? I had one of those. That was a little while after. Uh, I love Pikachu Follow me. Pokemon Yellow. Yeah. Ice Cream says, Jacked. And Bert says, Thank you. Appreciate Oh, no. No, Bert. Leave your pants on, dude. What are you doing? <laughs> I need to get him a little belt. Bert. Dude. Sorry, that was inappropriate. After the stream, I'm going to have a little talk with Bert about keeping his pants on. I promise. Also, welcome to you. Oh, ice cream. Warm welcome. I like ice cream. Ice cream is delicious. Well, I only have protein ice cream, though. Can't you tell? It's protein. Whey protein ice cream. Bert's going to get you demonetized. I'm not monetized to begin with. <laughs> Bert's going to drive people away if he can't keep his pants on. Bert! At least he's wearing pants now. He needs a little belt. He actually needs a little apron so that we match. I think that'd be the best the best case scenario for Bert. And then I'll let my mustache grow out real long and shave my my chin. And then I'll comb my hair over and then we'll look identical. If he had a little blue apron. I think that's what we need to do with Bert. Hello, Stella. More than welcome to you. Stella says, hey. And I say, hey, right back. Actually, I say howdy doody, tutti frutti. That makes sense that you only eat protein ice cream. Uh, I, no, I eat regular ice cream, but I do actually, I have this Ninja Creamy thing, and I eat a lot of whey protein ice cream. And there's lots of hearts flying. I like that. I approve. Keep them coming, guys. Does the heart, the only thing the heart does is just make a little animation on the screen? Is it, or does it do anything cool? Does it speed up the process of getting me monetized? <clears throat> Bloodleaf says, also, you should be creeping up on YouTube membership program by now. How many watch hours you need? I only have like 790 watch hours. Um, I really only started getting watch hours like a month ago, like as far as them, them going up. Um, I've really just, just now started the long form stuff. Uh, I think my first really started putting, putting forth effort towards the end of January. Stella says, good. How do you do? I'm well. Warm welcome to you. Glad you're here. If you guys have any questions for me at all, feel free to ask away. I'm Chad Lloyd Nelson. I make pottery for a living. Um, basically, I make 90 plus percent coffee mugs, and that's what I'm making right now. This mug that I'm doing right here. Um also do long form videos and I also do shorts so to check out my stuff and stream Monday Wednesday Friday at, at about this time hello Rackman how you doing sir I'm gonna start calling you Roy so that people know hello Roy look to you sir ice cream says uh, the mugs on the background look so fire hey I appreciate that yeah, I'll show you guys um, this is basically what I spend all my time making. Silly face mugs. Uh, majority of the things I make are those. And I do some like stamp things and I do some logo mugs. Uh, but mostly mugs. I do some bowls. On my videos I try to do bigger stuff. Because... I use the videos as an excuse for me to make bigger stuff. 
Uh, so it says, what type of mug are you doing? This will be a face mug. So I'm working on inventory. I have a show coming up. My one show of the year is at the end of April. So I'm stocking some stuff for it. Uh, I'll show you guys some of the other things I've worked on once I finish this one. And, oh, another thing in my videos, this is my friend Bert. Here, cover up Bert. I know his pants are kind of falling down. He hides in my videos, and you can look for him, and if you find him, you can circle him on a screenshot and post him in Discord and say, hey, I found Bert. If you, if you find Bert, you get Bert points. And as we all know, Bert points are the most valuable points that there ever were. You can ask Bloodleaf and Rack, they know. They have some Burt points and they're very proud to have them. Uh, Ice Cream says, did you make that skull yourself? Indeed, I did. I made that several years back. Once I finish this mug, I'll get it. I'll set it, I'll set it on the wheel and let it spin. Uh, while I get up and I'll show you guys the other things I've made so far today. This is a half round sculpture in the back it's actually made with a slab it's not done on the wheel but spin mr skull spin well, there he is <clears throat> ice cream says damn you're so, you're so talented i appreciate that thank you i almost found the last bert of the two spots i thought he was i chose wrong so someone else go find him yeah that last one's been tough rack was close he he almost he's he's almost there but I, may, I might have made the last one a little too challenging. There's the skull. I'll show you guys the other things we are working on. I had, a, I had an order I did earlier today. Get back here. Uh, here's the... I did some long-necked vases, or vases, however you say that and planters those little bowl shapes those have a drainage hole and they're next to their drainage plate and then i've worked on some ridged mugs guys this is for about 50 or so pieces <clears throat> didn't want to say inside the mug so i said beside the castle no he wasn't inside the mug that's not where he is all right The only hint I'll give is, oops, my internet went out. Missed the hint. <laughs> no hint for you. Uh, I'm so sorry. I have to go. Your live is awesome. Hey, Stella. I appreciate that. Hope you come back some other time. Hello, Abdurrahman. Hi, hello. Welcome to you. Glad you're here. Thanks for joining. Lots of new faces today. I like that. I approve. My, speaking of faces, my face is now cut off. What you know? Oh, I set the camera. It was kind of up on my my cord. I have a cord. Uh, my wheel plug. Nah, my head's not cut off. There we go. Uh, you from? I am from the United States, Alabama, and I don't need two bats. I just need one bat. Where are you from? Right. I'm gonna get my pants dirty. Believe it or not, I washed this apron over the weekend. This is just from today. Uh, Dur says from Pakistan. Wow, I don't know that I've ever met anybody from Pakistan. A warm welcome to you. Glad you're here. Alright. Shall we read another fun fact? Oh, hey, Rack, did you have a good weekend? Bloodleaf, did you have a good weekend? All you guys, did you have a good weekend? Question for the stream. My weekend was good. Lots of time with family. Good time was had by all, although I did eat too much yesterday. I had quite a good weekend with lots of family stuff. Yep, same for me. We had Easter celebrations all day yesterday. And... Um, some birthday celebrations in the evening as well so at the end of a long day of eating lots of food i had cake <laughs> i had lots of cake 
And my brother-in-law was uh, cutting the slices, so he gave me a giant piece of coconut cake. And I know I didn't have to eat it, but I got, I don't know. I don't like leaving food on my plate. <laughs> it was there. I was there. Mm, it was good, though. I like me some coconut cake. <clears throat> uh, you're short. I am upload on my TikTok account. I'd rather you not do that. Please do not upload my things to your account. Do not do that. I actually have a TikTok account, but I don't post on it because I don't like TikTok. Uh, Bloodleaf says some stuff I don't understand. Rack says you did have to eat that. It would be insulting not to eat it. Indeed. Uh, Ice Cream says, my weekend went wild. I don't know how my local church caught on fire. Thankfully, not too much. Who set the church on fire, man? <laughs> <clears throat> uh, Nebder says, why? Uh, well, I don't like people reposting my things. Because I've had people in the past repost my things and try to... Uh, take my stuff and without giving credit so I don't like that happening I'd prefer that to not happen that one's not super great let's fix it I'm getting distracted guys and making fat mugs I make when I get distracted I make fat mugs I think Bert set it on fire. <laughs> Bert, he does get into shenanigans from time to time. Bert! Alright. That's better. That's better mug right there. Alright. <laughs> I've seen Perk smoking a cigar before. Actually, a cigarette. But, uh, Bert has finally quit. As you can see, it's no longer in his mouth. Actually, I'm not real sure what happened to it. I guess he put it out. He got splashed in the face with clay water. <clears throat> he put his cigarette out. That's what happened. Alright. I'm going to clean my wheel off. And... I'm going to take a quick restroom break. I'm gonna leave you guys here with Bert. Um, I need to make a BRB sign, but I'll just let him hold this sign right here. We already started, but just, just pretend that that means BRB. There, BRB. <clears throat> Bert Stream!
I am returned. Where are we? Where are we? Bert stream. Dang it, Roy. <laughs> Talking about oh the fire. Bert started the fire. It was slowly burning since the world was turning. Bert started the fire. Don't need a bat. Alright. Uh Bert's butt was all out. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, it was. Uh, uh, Abdur says you have a TikTok account. I do have a TikTok account, but I don't use my TikTok account. Um, I'm just Ugg Chugs on TikTok. I posted like maybe two videos. When I first started posting things on TikTok, uh, I got like a ton of engagement, but it was all weird. I was like, this is this is very strange. This is like obviously not real engagement. I mean, there were like was like an occasional, but it, to me, it just felt like a whole bunch of bots. I was like, I don't like this at all. I'm gonna sit on this TikTok thing and watch it happen. And this this was like right when TikTok launched, and I just never came back. I was like, yeah. <sighs> name a car. Name a car. <laughs> no, I don't respond when people tell me to do things. No. No. Someone in chat will. Bert will. I kind of like Camaros. They're my favorite. I didn't name a car. Bert did it. <clears throat> uh, Nova? <laughs> Oh, I'm gonna lose a leg up. Okay, now I'm catching up. <laughs> Sorry, I'm behind, guys. I just got back from bathroom break. I'm still, I'm still catching up. Also, I don't read so well. Uh, hi, bro. New subscriber, say hi, bro. Hey, bro. Thanks for joining. Glad you're here. Welcome to you. A warm welcome, indeed. Why do I need to name a car? I'm just, I'm just trying. I'm questioning. I don't. I don't know. I don't know what that's going to get for me. Oh yeah, I was going to ask the TikTok thing. Question for the stream: Do you guys think that TikTok is going to be banned in the United States? Because that's the thing that might happen. Uh, Congress has passed that bill, right? Already. What do you guys think about that? Out of curiosity, um, I never really liked TikTok. That's kind of where I'm at with it. Uh, I felt weird about it and I did not want to tie my business to it. So like, I'm, I'm glad I didn't now because if it does get banned, I'd be pretty upset if like my business relied on it. Um, I'm in a spot now where like if all social media went away, I'd be okay. Uh oh. But I feel like I missed something else in chat. If you ask me a question in chat and I did not respond to it, just ask again because I do miss things from time to time. I'm making mugs and uh, the car thing was going across and probably missed some stuff that way too. <clears throat> I know that Bill used TikTok to disguise his real meaning, which is some political stuff I don't want to talk about, but TikTok sucks. Um, I don't. I don't really know. I've not read the bill personally. I've heard different pundits explain it. Um, but as far as an app, uh, the way I would describe TikTok is it's fake, and I, it's always struck me as being fake. Um, the engagement was obviously artificial. When I the, like the first few things I posted on it. Um, I don't know if it was bots or if it was like like Chinese nationals or something they paid to <laughs> post comments, but it was not real. Uh, Tandu says, you're a good name, bro. Thanks, I guess. 
Uh, TikTok is 100% artificial. Agreed. TikTok is a great big bubble. And, like, I think it's kind of, it's obvious that some things are encouraged on TikTok and other things are suppressed on TikTok. I don't like that about it. Um, but for me personally, that wasn't, and, and it wasn't really so much the, you know, personal information stuff because, I mean, we have all given all of our personal information to these big tech companies across the board. And even if you don't, like, by association being near other people with smartphones in their pocket, I don't know. I just feel like we're all basically compromised. Like, the information wasn't the thing that did it for me. It was like the, the fact that it was basically a sham was what made me not do TikTok. Hello, Charlotte. Welcome to you. Uh, what are you mulling? I'm making coffee mugs. Mugs on mugs on mugs on mugs on mugs. You see those mugs on the shelf behind me? That's what I'm making today. And where are you from, bro? I am from Alabama in the United States. United States of America. Where are you from? Where is everybody's from? Where is everybody? I can't speak. <laughs> Where is everybody from? Um, I did my workout like right before I started streaming, and I'm knackered right now. And also my eyes switching. I don't know if you guys can see it. It's been doing it like all weekend. <sighs> Probably need to focus on rest and recovery for a few days. Uh, USA, USA, USA. Chandu says, I am from India, bro. Welcome to you. All the way from India. And ice cream is from Hong Kong. Welcome to you. I don't know that I've, I've, I've talked to some folks from India, but I don't know that I've talked to anybody from Hong Kong yet. That's very cool. Uh, ice cream, how do you feel about TikTok? I agree, TikTok is kind of overhyped. Uh, do you have access to TikTok in Hong Kong, out of curiosity? I've heard that on the Chinese mainland, like you, they don't have access to TikTok. But I don't know if that's correct or not. It's just what I've heard. Uh, curious. That one needs a little bit of fixing right here. I'm going to get Charlotte and Chandu mixed up because their icons are like almost the same. Pink and C. Uh, India is one of my favorite countries. Thanks for chai. <laughs> Thanks for the chai, bro. I am back. I, I drank more tea last week. And gave up, you know, gave up on the coffee because I've been having some heartburn issues. But heartburn got better, and immediately went back to coffee. <laughs> Uh, I actually have access to it. Oh. Is that a Hong Kong thing or just you just have a special access to it? Because because you know know the things. <clears throat> I had a friend that stayed in China for a while, and I think he had like a VPN or something he could use. Uh oh not necessarily government sanctioned apps but this was some years ago <clears throat> what's your favorite turtle oh that's a tough question i think alligator snapping turtles are pretty cool we have those around here they're very common um red ear sliders it's like basic pond turtle probably snapping turtle alligator snapping turtle they're nice and gnarly ninja turtles are cool those were my favorite turtles when I was about six years old. Uh, Chandra says, do you like cricket, bro? I have no idea how to play cricket. I should get some culture and learn. I'd probably like it. I really like baseball. Uh, Hong Kong thing, since Hong Kong isn't fully a part of China, so I guess everyone has access to TikTok. Oh, okay. Makes sense. I didn't know after the whole Hong Kong thing back in... Uh, what was that, like 2019, 2018, 2019? Charlotte says, lol. What's your favorite kind of turtle? I like turtles. It's a meme level, like, 
15 or 20 years ago. <laughs> uh, someone uh, heckled me one time when I was doing a stream because my memes were from like 2003 or 2004. <laughs> Uh, I don't know what kind of turtle that is, Bloodleaf. Charlotte's into snapping turtles. Snap turtles are cool. Uh oh. I happened upon one one day when I was uh, walking to work. And I got a stick and put it in his mouth. And it snapped the stick. It did. Man, I know I was thinking to myself. I'm really glad that it wasn't my finger. <laughs> Those things are legit. Uh, I've caught them before, like on a fishing line as well. <clears throat> you would know it when you saw it. Maybe you can post a picture on Discord or something, and then I could see it. Next, a fun fact. Elvis was originally blonde. He started coloring his hair black for an edgier look. Sometimes he would touch it up himself using shoe polish. Oh, really? I did not know that. I used to have blonde hair when I was a kid. Fun fact, I was blonde as a kid. We were talking about that over the weekend. I was talking about that with my kids. Because both my kids are like dirty blonde. I was like, you guys are going to have black hair when you grow up. Cause I had I was, I was blonde when I was a kid, and they're like dirtier blonde than I was. And they're like, "Your hair's black," and I was like, "No, it's chestnut brown." And they're like, "No, it's black." <laughs> but I was totally blonde as a kid. Uh, but Lou says, "Ha ha!" I was actually just posting in Discord. Sweet. All right. I guess I'll know it when I see it. Uh, but you new folks. If you'd like to join the Discord and continue the chat post-stream, feel free to. The link is on my channel page. There's a Discord link. And we'll actually play a game in all my videos. Bert here, this little dude hanging out right here, he hides in my videos on the shelf behind me or just somewhere. And first one to find him gets Bert points. And Bert points are very worthwhile. Uh, what is the time there, bro? It's 1.27 p.m. for me. It's basically the same time for me here right now. Uh, oh, that's Charlotte. I get, See, I told you guys I'd get you mixed up because you're both pink C's. Uh, I think it's 12.30 here, maybe. Maybe it's 1.30. What time is it? Oh, it's, yeah. Charlotte, we're in the same time zone. Uh, man, time's flying. Have I been streaming for that long already? Dang, I've been streaming for an hour and 20 minutes. <clears throat> Darn, I was hoping it'd work. I gotta be mod. What were you trying to do, Bloodleaf? I haven't I haven't assigned mods yet. In fact, I don't even know how to do that on YouTube. Rackman was one of my mods on Twitch back in the day. In fact, Rackman was my very first mod. Uh, trying to send the Discord link. Oh, that's probably a good thing to do. I don't have, I'm not using like slobs or anything, I'm just using my phone, so. Hmm. I need to do a little research. Maybe I'll figure out how to ch get a chat bot going. <clears throat> Backside cups. Fantastic, bro. Thanks. Not entirely sure what that means, but. All right, I appreciate that. It was a golden age for modding. <laughs> then Colleen came along, and she became the mod to all the channels, the stars. <laughs> I, I popped into Twitch not too terribly long ago and noticed she was still modding for uh, Chris. Uh, I was part of making that happen because I basically went around to all the streamers, and I was like, hey, mod Colleen. I think I might have done that to you too a little bit, right, man? Uh... Uh, I do it for a guy named Yellow Tones. I'm a mod on his streams. Forgot you got to do mod for links. Uh, Charlotte says, "Do you sell the mugs?" Indeed, I do. There's a link to my website on my channel page. Also, you can go to ugchug.com, and that'll take you to my Etsy shop. Uh, we also sell them. A uh, mainly, but probably my main sales channel is wholesale, and we ship them all over the southeastern United States to little stores. Uh, yeah, there you go. 
And in fact, the the Etsy shop is pretty fun. It's the only place where you can get our mug personalities. So when we post a mug in the item description, my wife actually does a little backstory bio for every single piece we upload. Well, she doesn't write them all for every single individual piece. We reuse some of them for similar mugs, but we have hundreds and hundreds and probably thousands of personalities at this point. Ice cream says it's 2.30 a.m. here. I didn't even notice. Man, it's late. I'd be dead to the world at 2.30 a.m. I get up at 4-ish in the morning. So, mug lore. <laughs> Indeed. Uh, yeah, 2.30. I have not stayed up until 2.30 a.m. for a very, very long time. Back when we were in college, I would. I gotta make this mug skinnier. I gotta break the habit of making fat mugs. No fat mugs. Didn't mean to fat shame my mug. Better. Uh, yeah, I love the Etsy shop. You guys did very well creating a nice vibe. I appreciate that. That's mostly my Megs. She does the the photos, and she's really upped her photo game this year. We just started adding the um, like the background, the little wood background thing, and the plants and stuff. <clears throat> she has outdone herself. Sorry, I just coughed around the microphone. Show me your bicep, bro. You can't see them while I'm working here. <clears throat> no flexing for stream. Unless it's in, in context. It's got to be for a reason. I got to be flexing for a reason, man. Ice Cream says, I can't even sleep now. One day since I'm doing a course to become a doctor and barely get breaks from studying. Man, you can become a doctor? That's awesome. That's like the common plight for anybody in the medical field or going into the medical field. It really kind of sucks there for a nice long time. <laughs> and then you make it. And then it's a, it's just a hard career in general. Uh, <clears throat> yeah, it's like you made your products into models. Uh, I lost the thread on that one, man. Uh, oh, oh, with the photographs, yeah. Making them work the camera. Yeah, we've got just kind of like a formula we use now as far as like how we like position the mugs and stuff. Um, we've been at it for quite some time now. I think we started Etsy in like 2010. So we've been on Etsy for a while. Oh, my eyes switching. I've got to get a little R&R. &R. This weekend was, uh, overdoing it. With the food and the lack of sleep. A little bit of burning the candle at both ends. Uh, I know, right? It's so competitive, too. Yeah. I can tell you I'm not cut out for it. I certainly, back in my college days, I, I wouldn't, have, wouldn't have been cut out for it at all. I'm more, I'm better equipped to do it now. Um, my work ethic is really good now, I think. Certainly compared to how I used to be, but I don't know. Seems like a lot of pressure. Um, making the pottery has its moments, but not. It's nothing compared to be, like having someone's life in your hands, like having to take care of people. That's uh, not something that I think I'm equipped for. Fun fact. I gotta roll it down a little bit. We've actually read some fun facts today. I'm gonna bring Would You Rathers next time. Fun fact. Ed Sheeran bought a ticket to LA with no contacts. He was spotted by Jamie Foxx, who offered him the use of his recording studio and a bed in his Hollywood home for six weeks. Really? Well, that's pretty cool. Good on Jamie Foxx. <clears throat> All right, see you in Burton next live. Have a good day. Hey, Ice Cream, thank you so much for coming and joining me today. I do hope you join us again. 
me and Bert and all of us here. Um, thanks for being here. <clears throat> hey, Leslie. How you doing? Welcome to you. I love Ed. 100. He's great. I think Ed Sheeran's pretty great. I mean, I don't really know him all that well, but what I've heard seems good. Uh, Chandu says, your favorite actor, bro. Oh, good question. Good question for the stream. Who is your favorite actor? Uh, and Leslie says, hey, hey, everyone. And Ice Cream says, definitely we'll join y'all again. Well, thank you so much for being here. Let's get an ice cream. I'm glad you joined us today. My favorite actor is probably Chris Pratt. I think. He's pretty cool. I gotta move some stuff around, you guys. I'm running out of table space. Oh, I put this guy up here earlier to show everybody. This is gonna be my next long form video. I may I threw this vase and I put a face on it in the video. That's going live at two o'clock, probably pretty soon. Right after I turn the stream off, it'll be going live. But y'all check it out. Let's do. And I've got some shorts coming up where I put the faces on the things as well. We're going to move Yoshi out of the way. I'll shut that guy right there. Where he can dry out. I need to take this other vase and put him in the kiln. He's been sitting, just sitting on the shelf for a while. Uh, Charlie Day. Yeah, Charlie Day's pretty good. I think Always Sunny's pretty, pretty great show. We were talking about that last time. That episode of Charlie Work. Um... One of my tip top favorite episodes of any TV show ever. <clears throat> Chris is pretty funny. Uh, ooh. If you sell a vase like that, let me know. I want one. Uh, I will. I have one on our Etsy shop. They're not super popular because they, at, at least compared to my cutesy funny stuff. Um, because it's just not what people are like know me for honestly i made those back when i was in my early days in college and i had some in some art galleries but i say i never really sold a ton of them i really like making them though uh i do sell them in person every now and then uh but there's one on etsy right now and i'll probably put these put these on there as well i'm gonna take these to my show coming up and i want to do some more in this style just because i like you know I like making them. Uh, they're kind of like closer to traditional face pottery. Uh, Chandu says, my favorite is Johnny Depp. Johnny Depp is pretty cool. Johnny Depp's cool. Uh, I like probably Chris Pratt, but uh, who's the guy that plays Thor? I thought he did a good Thor. Let's see. Uh, man, what's that guy's name? He wouldn't be my favorite, though. Uh, Alan Richson, he does uh, Reacher. He's pretty awesome. I guess does be... As far as modern actors. What about actors, like, throughout all time? Hmm. That would take some thinking. <laughs> Chris Hemsworth. Yeah, that guy. I thought he did. He he did a great Thor. He's pretty fantastic. He's funny. Um, hmm. I don't know. I'm not a huge movie guy these days. <clears throat> I'm not gonna lie. I love when Tupac would act in movies. I don't know that I've ever seen Tupac act in a movie. What movies were? What was he in? Fun fact, German chocolate cake is named after an American baker by the name of Samuel German. What? No. It has no affiliation with the country of Germany. No. Is that for real? Did not know that. And that was actually a fun fact. I think that one wins. <clears throat> Poetic justice. Juice. I haven't seen those. 
Uh, I got, man, I'm gonna have to make some space, you guys, or I have to start standing up. All right, I got, this is mug number 20 for the stream, and I already had 40 pieces. I think I had 40. Yeah, that's cool, no. But we're, we're getting close to 60 pieces on the day. That's wild. You learn something new every day. I know, I didn't know that. I'm gonna see if my Megs knew that one. Should be seeing my Megs pretty soon. She was gonna come in for a bit this afternoon. Uh, the first service animals were established in Germany during World War One. Hey, well, Germany's got that one. They may not have chocolate cake, but they get the service animals. References to service animals date back as far as the mid 16th century. Well, I didn't know that. I'm definitely using, using that German chocolate cake fun fact. Yeah, me too. Me too. Oh, I about yoinked that one off the bat. Squeezed it too hard. It happens sometimes. If you ever see it get still like that, that's not a good thing. All right. Uh, I gotta figure out where I'm gonna put some mugs. I think what I need to do is just hop up and move some stuff down my table. I got some clay, uh, clay bags I gotta move and a bowl. My mouse. Look at that. I'll probably stream another 20 minutes or so. And, uh, no, I gotta cut off the stream just in time so you guys can go watch my, my next video that's coming on at, at two o'clock in 18 minutes that's the plan is that a good plan i think it's a good plan let me making that guy that guy back there i'm really curious what y'all think about those i haven't done done a video like this uh let's see that was my dad's favorite kind of cake i like german chocolate cake now it's good stuff i had some german chocolate cake yesterday in fact i had a lot of sweets yesterday i had some german chocolate cake i had um like four chocolate chip cookies uh had, had coconut cake i had uh some carrot cake <laughs> i had a lot of cake yesterday oh man <clears throat> see oh i found it nice noise yeah i want one of these the base is nice thank you sir i appreciate that yeah i like making those it's kind of like my old school style. Um, and if the YouTube videos do well, that's probably a good incentive for me to make them. And even if I make them and then I don't, like, if I don't sell them on Etsy, um, I'm cool with that. Because uh, I'm pretty sure I could get them in the right place and sell them in person. Uh, our Etsy shop's just not... Like, people don't go there looking for that kind of thing on our Etsy shop. They go there looking for, you know, crazy, silly face pottery. Leslie says, I honestly woke up and joined the stream. You sleeping in, Leslie? Are you a night owl? I love ham. <laughs> I had some ham yesterday, too. <laughs> Do you mean him or ham? because it's two very different things ham is delicious though also the zombie mugs yeah i like the zombie mugs all right i gotta move some stuff you guys but i'm not gonna be gone long enough to put bird up there with the card i've got a new type of clay i've had it for a couple of weeks i really need to start working on some sample pieces I gotta scroll this down while I can reach my mouse. Okay. There's that, that. All right, I got space for a few more mugs. Full tables today. Uh, uh. <laughs> Don't get me started on ham because I love ham. Yeah, ham's great. My mom made a ham yesterday and I got to slice the ham. And the cool part about slicing the ham is you get to sample the ham while you slice the ham. Leslie says, I have insomnia. I also microdosed, so I stayed up. I hit the gym. <clears throat> Came home after getting some tamales at 8 a.m. 
Oh, you're living that that college life right there. I remember those days. That's the exact opposite of what I do now. I am in bed most nights by 8.30. And, oh man, last night. Yeah, I think I was asleep by about 8.30 last night. I mean, I passed out. Rex says, I sliced the ham yesterday too. And yes, it's nice to get those samples. You know what I'm talking about. It's those delicious ham samples. It's good stuff. All right, we're going to do... Hmm. I got some fat pieces of clay. I could make one more, like, super special thing. I'll just use all the rest of my clay and make something big. Uh, Leslie says, LMAO, I'm actually starting college this fall. Oh, yeah, I remember you saying that. You're going into the um, cannabis studies. I know what you're doing. I don't drink coffee, so this should be interesting. Hey, you'll do great. Hey, just get in there and work hard. Don't party too hard. Party, like just a little bit of partying for the rest of it. Study. Ham, I love ham. It's great. <laughs> ham is the best. I don't know. It's not, I wouldn't say it's the best. What's better, ham or bacon? Question for the string. Ham or bacon? We could just we could go further and and figure out what the best meat ever is. <clears throat> Rack says I like bacon more, but ham is not far behind if done well. Yeah, that's true. There is I think there's a broader range of ham than there is of bacon. So like honey ham that you get like sliced at the deli, it's not, that's not right. It's not as good as uh, some smoked, smoked ham. The sweet, I don't like the sweet ham. Uh, Leslie says, I don't think I'll party much in college, maybe outside of it if uh, I enjoy concerts. To be honest, the yeah, concert's cool. What was the last concert you went to? And Leslie says, bacon is delicious. I definitely like bacon more than ham for sure. And as far as like party foods, we always have ham. Let's see, yesterday, what else did we have? We also had some chicken fingers at the party, and I enjoyed the chicken fingers more than the ham. And we also had hamburgers at the same party and I also had a hamburger and I enjoyed the hamburger more than the ham although the ham was good and the ham as an appetizer while I was slicing the ham was quite excellent uh, I like ham more because bacon makes my stomach hurt now unfortunately I love the taste but I got GERD it kills me with the grease oh man it sucks having a sensitive stomach I've had I've had it off and on and it's not ideal. I like food too much. <laughs> Most of the time I'm like, I'll take the pain. Uh, only because of the GERD. Bacon is the reason I will never be able to give up meat. Oh man, bacon's good. My brother-in-law's got a shirt that says bacon is meat candy. And I don't know that, that if there's ever been a truer statement. Plantha says, I just eat, eat a toast with ham and cheese. Hey, just had some ham. Ham makes the world go round. That's what we can say about that statement. Actually, my last concert was Friday. I went to see Bad Bunny, and I was starstruck. I don't know who Bad Bunny is. Um, we, Leslie, we type that in Discord, and I'll look them up. We'll see what kind of music you're into. I like all kinds of stuff. Did you know that Bloodleaf makes music and has a YouTube channel? True story. You should check it out. Bloodleaf is a singer and musician. Uh, <laughs> bacon is meat candy, especially with maple syrup. Mm, bacon's good. All right, guys. It is 1.50. Let us use the remaining 10 minutes before the video goes online. Haha, <laughs> calling me out. Yeah, man, I'm going to call you out. 
I'm into everything music wise, so I'll be doing so in the Discord. Yeah, post it, check it out. I like all kinds of stuff music wise as well. My uh, my Megs gets a little bit frustrated with my playlists sometimes because it is so incredibly eclectic. Uh, okay, Blood Leaf, that's hella cool. Yeah, you should check it out. Uh, all right, I'm using every last piece of clay that I had left. Would you guys rather me make a big bowl or like a vase? Uh, it's a little too much clay. I could make a jug, but it'd be... Hmm, I don't think I want to make a huge jug. There. Oh, one of those was a little dry on the outside, too. This may be interesting. I have to actually stop jabbering and focus. Oh, I saw a cool video. I need to link it in Discord this last weekend. It was these, um, this Chinese pottery studio. And these dudes, there were three of them all making the same bowl and <laughs> they were using so much so much elbow grease. I mean, they were like bowed down on this bowl, like pushing as hard as they could, but it took three of them and they were like, there was one main guy and he was using his hands and the other two dudes were pushing like on his hands against the, uh, against the pot. And they made, they made a huge bowl that way. It was pretty cool to watch, but I need to link that in discord. I sent that to my pottery buddy and I was like, Hey dude, <laughs> you want to make a huge bowl? <clears throat> Teamwork, man. Teamwork. All right. One more fun fact for the road. My favorite fun fact of the day was the German chocolate cake fun fact. Uh, an 11 year old girl proposed the name for Pluto after the Roman god of the underworld. Oh, I hear my Megs. My Megs is here. Uh, all right. Centered. We're going to make a... So make a vase. A little more challenging. Uh, let me make sure Megs knows I'm streaming. <clears throat> Since she's on the phone. I don't know who she's talking to. Right there. Hey, streaming by the way. battery my phone has left. All right. Uh, my friends always be like, why are you listening to that old ass music? 60s to 90s music. My playlist is crazy. Drill raps, jelly roll, alternative rap, so all kinds of stuff. <clears throat> Some state, I believe, declared Pluto has something today. I might have to look it up. Um... Well, back when I was a kid, Pluto was a planet. Planet that says, make a jar. I don't know what kind of jar. I don't know what jar means to you. <laughs> it may mean something different to me. Uh, Stella says, I'm back. Well, you guys made it just in time for my very last piece. I'm making a big thing. Uh, Jandu says, today's my birthday, bro. Wish me, please. Happy birthday, my good man. Assuming you're a man. You may not be. <laughs> you may be a woman. Uh, uh, same, I remember when Pluto was a planet and then poof, the government said no. no. Back in my day... No, it's a dwarf planet. I wanted to push you together. 
You want to go out wide on me, aren't you, Mr. Vase Man? Uh, still says, Chad, have you ever been to Chicago? I have not. I've never been to Chicago. Have you ever been to Chicago? You may be from Chicago. I have a buddy that's born and raised in the Chicago land area. Now you're not so fat. <sighs> Going to Chicago. Oh, very cool. I hope you have a good time. This clay's a little bit lumpy because I smacked all those pieces together. They're a little drier on the outside than the inside because they've been cut a lot in the morning. Or a couple of pieces had. I cut some of it before I started to stream. So there's a, there's a chance that this thing will break and or be terrible. <clears throat> Rack says, Chad doesn't travel north of the Mason-Dixon line. True. <laughs> Very true. Uh, today my birthday, bro. Wish me, wish me, bro. I said, happy birthday. Happy birthday, Chandu. It's my brother-in-law's birthday as well. It's also April Fool's Day, though. There's a chance that you're trolling me. I'm gonna try to close this off on top. I'm gonna make it a narrow. Uh, I'm from Chicago. Please stay safe. If you need any food recommendations? Let me know. You can join Discord. Leslie's on the Discord. You guys can talk about food and the food recommendations. Uh, question, does the clay ever get stuck to your hands? If you use, uh, don't use enough water, it can grab your hand and it can. Um, if you'll notice, like sometimes when I'm pulling the wall down here, I'll actually just kind of pull through and some clay will come off. Uh, it's kind of my way of... Um, not squaring it up, but like straightening things up when it gets off-centered a little bit. <clears throat> it is April Fool's. I have no one to prank. Well, I'm sure you can find somebody. Well, I gotta hurry. My new my video is about to go live. Gonna be alright. It'll we'll come out a little wider. And then we're gonna come in narrow, and I'm gonna try, go ahead and get the water out, and I'm gonna make a kind of a narrow neck on top, and it'll come out. <clears throat> Hello, Haiti. Welcome to you. Thanks for being here. And you guys watching this after the fact, thank you for being here. Come join me live sometime. I'm live Monday, Wednesday, Friday, about this time. Well, you probably don't know what time it is right now. About 12 Central Time, 12 to 12.30. That's the schedule for now. Could change at some point in the future because after that, at 12 o'clock, I get kind of sleepy after my workout and lunch. It wasn't so bad. I kind of hit a lull like right after and then perked back up. Uh, I got like 20 people in here, nice. Yeah, today's been a pretty active stream. It looks like uh, 20, 20 concurrent viewers. That's awesome. That's about as much as I've done before. Alrighty. Get the water out and then we'll close it off. And Rex is creeping up on 2K subs. Yeah. Hopefully we'll hit that in the next couple of days. I got some, I got some cool shorts lined up. Hopefully. Hopefully that'll get us there. Hopefully, fingers crossed. We should get there by the end of the week. Um, the last few shorts have done pretty well. I haven't, I haven't done, I think I did three in a row that were close to 10K views, which is like, I mean, nothing compared to what a lot of people do, but hey, that's pretty good for me. <clears throat> tell your friends and your mother, get them more views. Yeah, tell, tell your friends, share. Now, we'll get there. 
we're gonna get there. I'm excited about the shorts coming up this week because I was doing like the old old style faces. I'm curious to see what people think. Think about those. All right. Try not to get it too thin right here, or else it will slump on me. And we'll cut the top off of it, more than likely. For one more pull, and then push it together. Do a little trimming. Should have straightened out the bottom a little more earlier, but it is what it is. <sighs> Are you making a face base? I will definitely put a face on this guy, but in the video that's coming up, I, I do a face base. It's that one back there. This guy on the shelf. Uh, I need to do, figure out a better way to record the make, putting the faces on the things. I haven't found a great way to do that. It may be that I need to like zoom my camera out and put it like right in front of the thing. Yeah, we're working on it. We're going to figure it out. Alrighty. Let's get the top finished out. Okay, got one more pull here. Yep. See, it's kind of starting to get a little bit, a little bit of a crinkle right there. It means it's pretty much done. If I pulled it one more time, that would, that would look terrible. So we're not going to do that. And we're a little weeby wobbly on top. We use the needle tool. <clears throat> Anybody need a bracelet? Bert needs a necklace. Oh, that's his champ necklace right there. Bert, you the champ, man. My sponge. I'm going to need a new sponge, too. It's all wallered out. All right. Oh, almost there. Hey, that was a pretty good stream today. I really appreciate you guys hanging out with me. It The time is flying. I've been streaming almost two hours, and it seemed like five minutes. I remember looking at the clock just a little while ago and thinking to myself, dang, I've been streaming a long time. It seemed like it's been like five minutes, but I've made a bunch of stuff. We got uh, 21 mugs over here, plus this big vase. Plus stuff I already made earlier. Let's see, let's see what this guy. It does it is it work? What do you think, Cleanthus? Is that a jar? Is that considered a jar for you? Did I fulfill the criteria of jar? I really want to pull like one more time right here, but I'm afraid I'm gonna get too thin. YOLO! Told you my memes were old school. <laughs> there. Alright. That'll do. I don't know. It needs to be like slightly wider up here. Maybe maybe just turn it out just a little bit more. Yeah, that did it. That did it. I'll take it. Approve. I'm gonna put I'm gonna put a face on this guy. <clears throat> trash. I don't know what that means, but I see trash cans. They can't be good. It does look like a water jug, just without the handle. Yeah, I probably need to put a handle on this one. Definitely gonna put a face on it. Anyways, hey guys, I really appreciate you being here, joining me for today's stream. Thank you so much. And I hope you join me again on Wednesday. The stream will be between 12 and 12.30 on Wednesday. I'll probably be back on making mugs, but I'll be working on some show inventory, so I may do a few special things there. Uh, pottery time flies like an arrow. Indeed. Indeed. This stream has gone by very quickly. You guys have chatted a lot today, and I thoroughly enjoy it, and I really appreciate every single one of you guys being here. If you want to continue the chatting, uh, join the Discord. The link to that is in my channel description. Also, my uh, website for my silly face mugs, where I sell those. Uh, the link to the Etsy, it's on there as well. And if you do Instagram, I post videos on there, as well as... Uh, we do like still posts every day of like products. Uh, so if you're interested in that, follow us on the Instagram. Uh, thoroughly enjoyed you guys and the stream, you guys being here. Uh, if you haven't already, please subscribe, hit the like button, 
and uh, share with your friends and join us next time. Um, and thanks for being here. Rackman, Cleanthus, Bloodleaf, Leslie, Vince, Stella, all you guys. You guys are awesome. Hope to see you next time. Till then, Bert says, Bye! See you later!